All right, welcome back. I hope you had some fun with the spacebar key. It's definitely one of my favorite keys to use in Outlook. And this, in this lesson, we want to explore the navigation and selection shortcuts in, for operating in Outlook. So first of all, a great way to navigate through various sections in Outlook, for example, from the email to the calendar to the people, uh, is to use control and the numbers. And you can rely on the fact that these are in order here. So for example, what I mean is email is number one, calendar is number two, people is number three. So now when you combine with control, let's try control and two, we go to calendar, which is the second one. Huh? To go to people, control three, to go back to emails, control one. So oh, this is a fast way to navigate by keeping both of your hands on the keyboard, which is much faster. All right, now we aim to navigate through emails. As I show you in the previous lesson, and you probably know you can use the arrows, but if you want to move faster, you can use and and home, and you can use it to navigate to the last email. And now it's the difference between Outlook and Excel, because in Excel, to navigate to the last thing, you need to press as well Control, but here it's not required. So just press enter, you'll jump to the last email in your inbox and press home to jump to the first email in the inbox. In order to select more emails, you can hold shift. And in my case, I'm using the down arrow and I'm selecting four emails. You can do the opposite, shift and up arrow to select up. Now an alternative way which I use to select more items is by holding shift and clicking left click. So this implies using the mouse, but you have the control to select four emails or uh, if you want to select three emails, you don't need to select from this email to the top. Now, if you want still to select from this email to the very first one, you can combine with shift. So remember home is to navigate all right but when you press shift you select as well shift and home and you select from the current email to the top one if you want to do the opposite you select from the current email to the last one press shift and end uh, another thing that i wanted to show you that also involves the mouse here it's control and click so if you want to select specific emails that are not necessarily one next to the other. You can use control and click and click and select like this. We want as well to select all the emails in the inbox. We can easily do that with control and A. And now we can mark them as unread, we can move them, or we can organize the entire inbox in just a few clicks. These were the key shortcuts for navigation and selection in Outlook. Now please practice this a bit more as you will rely on the navigation and selection a lot uh, in your future work.